it's not for Christmas. Holy oh, food she cute. I'm gonna name her Shelly. Isn't Shelly cute? And she has a booty. Look at her tail. Oh my gosh, I think she's adorable. Oh, meet Shelly, guys. Everybody got one, but I think mine's the cutest. Actually, there's a few cute ones. This one right here is kind of cute too. That's a bulldog. Batman bulldog. And everybody else got them too. Ashley's is Ashley. That's my friend Ashley's. A little snowman. So cute. Shelly's adorable. Of course, I have to leave it here at work until. Oh, hi, Shelly. So cute. I came to work today and my boss got me my own ornament. Did you see that? Isn't that so cute? Yes, I named it Shelly. Doesn't it look like a Shelly? I think it looks like a Shelly. I wanted to tell you guys a little, about, a little bit about Christmas. Back in the day when Kurt and Austin were little, like Curtis was two, three, he was two and a half. And Austin was not even one. And um, I was leaving a very abusive relationship. And so I was starting my divorce process. And my mom was sick with cancer. She was dying. And um, I was doing the single mom thing. And I was struggling big time. I was super sick at the time as well. I uh, had a really hard time. And, and basically, I was working for Walmart at the time. And my boss was um, was a black lady. I share that because it's an important part of the story. <laughs> Me and her did not get along, not because she was black, but just because our personalities clashed big time. Anyways, so um, and we were getting close to Christmas time, and I didn't have any money for um, Christmas for the boys. And my mom was sick, and I was missing a lot of work because my mom was sick, and... I was sick. It was just this hot mess of a situation. Anyhow, um, my boss pulled me into the office and she basically, she basically said, um, we need to talk. And I thought I was getting fired and she sat me down and she said, I just want you to know that Sam is black. And I was like, uh, okay, whatever you say. And then she said, please, Come here, I need you to see something. And then she walked me into a separate room, which is a different office. And there was two carts, completely filled, overflowing actually. One cart, she said, here, this cart is for your youngest, and this cart is for your oldest. And um, instantly I started crying. And um, at the same time, this same year, is somebody did the 12 days of Christmas for me and Kurt and Austin. Um, if you don't know what that is, research it. I would like to do it with my kids, do, find a family and do the same thing. However, um, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, I, and then as soon as I started crying and my boss, you know, she realized that I recognized how great it was that, you know, this is something that was done. She, um, looked at me again and she said, Santa's black. <laughs> she goes, I just want you to know I've been in your shoes. I've been in an abusive relationship. I've been through divorce with kids. I've been through the struggles that you're dealing with. I, she said, I, if I remember right, she said she was, she lost her father. And so she related, um, at that moment in time, I no longer hated her. In fact, we had a different bond from that day forward. And I was able to take those things home to my boys and there was so much that I was able to provide Christmas for my boys and I had enough that I could provide Easter and birthdays and any holiday under the sun that you might get gifts for. <laughs> I had it for them. And Anyways, I, I wanted to share that story because from that day forward, I have always taught my kids that Santa, the big fat guy in the big red coat <laughs> and the flying reindeer, um, Santa used to be real 
And um, I've always taught my kids that it's the, the gift of giving. If you, if you believe in Christmas, you believe in the gift of giving. It's maybe not really a fat guy in a sleigh. However, it is, you can either give, you can receive. Someone is giving. And you have to believe in that. That's what Christmas is to our family. And so it's been my kids' whole lives, they know that Santa is not a person. It's a feeling. It's a, it's giving. It's compassion. It's all these things into one. And it's based around one man that was exactly that. And, you know, my kids have asked when they were younger, they've always said, every one of them come up and say, well, why does everybody else believe in Santa? Why don't we, do we believe in Santa? And I'm like, we believe in the idea. Um, it's fun. It's a fun story. But ultimately, at the end of the day, Christmas is about Jesus Christ. And um, Jesus Christ gave the biggest gift of all, which is was his life. He was. We celebrate his birth around this time of year. And because he gave his life, which, you know, the gift of giving. <laughs> um, I think it's gone out of hand in the world today. I feel like Christmas is, um, it's not about Christ. It's about what you're getting and who's giving this and how much it was and, and how many things did you get and bragging to your friends and credit card debt and just all these things that make life miserable, you know? And so I've always taught my kids that it's not about that. Give to somebody, you know, and it's not just this time of year, all the time. However, I'm not going to lie, we do enjoy watching Google Earth on Christmas Eve. That's always a fun thing that we like to do. We still wrap our presents, and um, sometimes the kids don't know who bought what. We still have stockings and we still do those fun things because that's just something that we do. I grew up doing it. Jake grew up doing it. We continue to do it. However, we've switched gears a little bit. We've done things where we've had the kids draw names for each other, where they buy gifts for the, for the other person, and that's been super fun. But this year, we're going to switch a little bit here. Um, what we are doing is when we're purchasing and getting Christmas for the kids, they each get five things. Yep. You heard me five things, something they want reasonable, nothing crazy. We don't buy laptops or anything like that or hoverboards or whatever. One thing they want one thing they need, one thing they read, one thing that they wear, and Christmas Eve pajamas. And then their stocking is a separate thing. So five gifts that will be under the tree. Um, it's been easier on the budget doing this also. And I feel like our kids won't get so overwhelmed they don't know what to do with it. So I am super excited. Um, I'm about done shopping. I just have to do Christmas, uh, the stockings. And something that we put in our stockings are, um, we always do an orange. There's a poem that goes with the orange, and I'll have to find it. Do you guys know the story? Anyways, um, I'll have to share that sometime. My hair's a mess. Anyway, um, and then we always like to get some, a few of the fun little things that don't last long. Kids love it. Um, and then what else do we get? Oh, the Christmas, either like the orange, you know, the or orange ball. I'll have to, we'll show you. We'll have to do a haul from our stockings. Anyways, and then Christmas Eve, we really like wrapping as, you know, wrapping is a fun time. But... That's basically our tradition. Um, the other thing I like to do is Christmas Eve or the day before I get cinnamon rolls. So Christmas morning we eat cinnamon rolls, homemade ones. I make them and they're amazing. I'll have to share that too. Maybe I'll be doing this all this week. It'll be great. Anyways, so these are the things that um, 
that we believe in. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, based on that, um, based on that experience that I had, um, was the moment I decided that I wanted to teach my boys that it wasn't a big guy in a fat suit. Um, Santa to us that year was black. And, um, to this day, I have a special place in my heart for my boss that, um, even though we clashed, I think we clashed cause we were a lot alike. Um, she was an amazing lady, uh, is an amazing lady. I don't know where she is anymore. It was before Facebook. So, you know, I don't know what happened to her, but she definitely taught me something new, um, that year. And I cherish the experience. I cherish the moment that year was a really r rough year. 1999, the year my mom died on Christmas, or actually it was like two or three in the morning on Christmas, the day after Christmas. To me, it was still Christmas. Um, so this time of year is not always the best time for me, but I wanted to share that with you guys because I don't know um, if you guys knew that about us. Um, do you know that we don't that my kids do, do you guys know that my kids don't believe in the big fat guy? We don't hold secrets. Theron knows that Santa does not fly in a sleigh and come down a chimney. Yeah, he doesn't, he, he knows that that's not real. Um, it is real though. It is, it is real. It's a gift of giving. And are you guys somebody Santa? Has someone been your Santa? comment down below. Will you guys share your experience? Share it. Who have you been a Santa to? And if you haven't been, find someone to be a Santa to. It feels so good when you can give. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I haven't destroyed Christmas for you. Um, we love Christmas time. We love to share it with our kids. And we hope to find somewhere that we can give something serious where we can sacrifice a lot more and be able to provide something, be the Santa for someone else, um, the gift of giving. Anyways, we love you guys. We love all of your support. We love your comments. And um, anyways, you guys have a good one, okay? Stay tuned because we're going to be sharing all our little secrets along the way here with this next coming week, okay? Cinnamon rolls. The orange story. And maybe I'll share some secrets of the things I found for the kids. Christmas Eve, Christmas morning. This is going to be fun. You guys, have a good night.